Welcome back to another Terraria video everyone. Today we are asking what if Stormbreaker and Mjolnir were in Terraria? Now thanks to two mods we are allowed to see both of these weapons in Terraria but first I think we should get you know dressed a little bit more appropriately so let's go ahead. There we go you know we're dressed up in this uh, Valhalla outfit what's it called Valhalla Knight's Breastplate and we got both Mjolnir and Stormbreaker right here boom Mjolnir being from Thorium and Stormbreaker being from Alchemist NPCs so let's go ahead let's first take a look at the recipes you know how to get these we'll start with Mjolnir now Mjolnir in a thorium you know you get this pendant when you first start a playthrough with thorium enabled you then get this dormant hammer way 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 down the line in thorium's progression aka beat the final boss of thorium and expert the final boss being ragnarok you know kind of correlates to mjolnir because of norse mythology but yeah then you go ahead you just combine the two and that gets your hands on Mjolnir, it does true damage. Rapidly throws an image of a legendary of the legendary Mjolnir. Hitting an enemy causes a storm of energized chain lightning. Right click to unleash a stream of ionized destruction upon you. So the left click, boom. So let's go ahead, let's test this on some enemies to see this little chain lightning effect that it has. Boom, nice. That's really cool. And then right click to unleash a stream of ionized something, destruction upon you beautiful moving on to stormbreaker now stormbreaker like i said is from alchemist npc not the light version the regular version of alchemist npc because there's a light version where it's just the alchemist stuff and then there's a regular version where it adds in a lot more than just alchemist npc stuff so yeah you craft it from the nimbus rod a bunch of axes and a living wood wand a very simple recipe you do need the materia transmutator which i'll just show you guys how to craft that it is not easy at all boom uh yeah is not exactly the easiest thing to craft but stormbreaker uh, in my opinion stormbreaker is worth it look at this this thing is cool as hell but yeah it does not melee damage 116 melee damage you can change the damage type to uh throwing if you want to but yeah it says forge to fight the most powerful beings in the universe wield it wisely but yeah so if you hold on left click you do this little attack where you shoot out lightning and uh if you're near trees you can also cut them down in one hit because this is a hammer and an axe and then if you right click you throw it and it comes back to you which is really really nice so let's go ahead let's put these weapons to the test we'll try it against a couple of bosses and see how good it does all right so let's obviously test it out on let's say king slime number one all right let's try the uh, right click the right click does okay damage as you can see it also shoots out like a little burst of lightning every hit too so it's not bad at all given that the uh, king slime how much health does the king slime be smarter with now it's 2800 still so honestly kind of weak 2800 oh the left click went a little bit faster but you know this is a melee weapon so maybe we should put on some uh melee buffs including accessories and see if we can bulk up the damage a little bit all right i grabbed some of the most random accessories honestly most of them are crits whatever it's all good let's spawn in the golem now let's see how good it is against the golem so it's seeming like the lightning attack is probably one of the better ones i don't know what's doing that little blue effect see a little blue effect that's coming out is it this it might be this it might be one of these. Oh, here we go. It's the creates. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's let's try the uh, throwing attack. It's actually not that bad. It's actually not that bad. Good damage. Plus, you can keep your distance the whole time. And uh, you know, this seems like a weapon you're supposed to get post moon lord. So maybe we should put it against a post moon lord boss. But yeah, the damage not too bad. Obviously, I'd probably be dead by now with him uh, latching on to me like this. But I think it's because we're outside of the desert. But the damage is okay. It, it seems like not really a post mooler type weapon. But maybe it's just my accessories and stuff aren't that great. But yeah, it's still cool. It's it's literally Stormbreaker. So let's move on to Mjolnir. Mjolnir is, in my opinion, the cooler hammer. You know, Stormbreaker is cool, but Mjolnir is the OG. Let's put it up against the King Slime. You know, just see the basic. Let's see the right click on the King Slime. Not bad damage. Did about, what, 500? And then let's see the left click okay uh interesting let's try it against the golem now this does true damage meaning that we can't reforge it and it's also not affected by uh straight damage modifiers for example you know melee modifiers so it's probably just going to be stuck at 500 damage i have no idea if critical strikes affected at all but let's try right click on a, you know, a harder boss it's okay the right click seems like the one you don't really use too often seems like the left click is the main go-to because obviously the chain lightning plays a really big part 
and you know i don't really expect people to really be using this weapon as a weapon you know of their choice late game because it's pretty much a reward it's a gimmick gimmicky reward you beat the final boss of thorium so they're trying to give you a reward for it and uh, it is a really cool reward don't get me wrong but i don't think people should be using it as like a main go-to weapon late game let's see the left click damage okay like i said it's gonna be hitting them in the 500s and then if it crits maybe high 500 times low 600s doing a lot better than stormbreaker though don't get me wrong there doing way better than stormbreaker it's actually like killing him you see the right click a couple times not bad if you could like somehow combo both at once oh he spawned in enemies it's a perfect time to test out the chain lightning okay the chain lightning is probably the coolest thing about Mjolnir though. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. You know, a nice short video. I actually don't know how long the video is. Mjolnir, Stormbreaker, two really cool weapons from Norse mythology slash MCU slash whatever you want to say from Thor. And we got our little Valhalla armor on. If you don't know what the armor's from, it's from the Old One's Army and you buy it from the Tavern Keeper. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. More videos coming soon. I think I'm a stream today. So if you're watching this, follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash gamers on one and follow my Twitter so you get notifications when i'm gonna upload and when i'm gonna stream my twitter is at gamers one one thank you guys for watching i love you thank you for what we're about to hit 46 hit thank you for 46k i keep on saying thank you what can i do you guys want me to strip naked for a uh celebration